statue of abolitionist and social activist Harriet Tubman is coming to Philadelphia City Hall, and it will be the first statue of a black female historical figure in the city's public art collection. And today the city announced the artist who will create it. Uh, Greg Payne is live at City Hall with more on this historic announcement. Do tell, Greg. Yeah, so Sheba, on the north side of City Hall, you'll find two Civil War statues right here. And there's also going to be another one that's added right here at this spot that I'm standing in. It's going to be of Harriet Tubman highlighting her as a soldier. It was so cold, I couldn't even put my gloves back on after I took a picture. Francis Conwell was all bundled up near Philadelphia City Hall. Back in January of last year for Harriet Tubman's traveling statue, a cold and historic day that Fox 29 News was there to capture its unveiling. And I love the fact that it was so intergenerational, intercultural. Every race, every age bracket came out to see that statue on that day. And on that day, Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney was also motivated, leading him to ask an important question. Seeing the Philadelphians stop at a Harriet Tubman statue and just take photos, Oh, it bring everyone together from the city. And his first words was, how do we get our own permanent Harriet Tubman statue? After a competition involving a number of artists around the country to create the best Tubman statue, one stood out amongst them all. It's beyond words. I mean, you know, I really put, I was very emotionally invested in this project from the beginning. I just had a vision. And that vision put on display before Conwell, Mayor Kenny, and a number of community members. But now the task is taking this small design and transforming it to an estimated 14-foot bronze statue to stand at the northeast entrance of City Hall for all of Philadelphia and the world to see a unique perspective of Tubman as an armed soldier. Even though she's fully locked and loaded, her, she, you know, she's calling on something greater than her military arsenal to get her through her life and her, her struggles. And that's why I call it a higher power. And the crowd supporting the new design, descendants of Tubman, who have given it the stamp of approval. We are hoping that um, this statue will motivate individuals to fight for equality. I believe that Harriet is very happy in heaven looking down upon us and um, saying it's a well it's a job well done and it's time for our country to come together now the artist did mention that you know he is ready to to do work on this he just has to do a couple of paperwork in regards to folks within the city but he says once that gets completed he is going to begin the carving process and he says it should take this whole entire project about a year to complete Reporting live here in Center City, I'm Greg Payne, Fox 29 News. All right, Greg, thank you very much. It's been six.